Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we'll see what is JAR and how can you create a JAR file in Eclipse. Now to understand what is JAR, just, just imagine a scenario, let's say you're working on a project or maybe you're working on multiple projects or so maybe in your team you have multiple projects which, which you're working on and some of the project want some common features. Example, let's say if you create a project where you need a, a, where you need a feature which can read an Excel file. Maybe if you want to uh, find a particular email or a particular string from a particular file, so you, write, you will write a code for that, right? And if you want to use the same feature in multiple projects, you can take that thing common, right? So you can take that feature in common so that you don't have to write the same code in every project. You can simply create a common, a common file which you can use in all, all the projects. Now, how can you create these common files? Now, first of all, in Java, if you want to achieve a feature, we create classes, right? So we have one class for one particular feature. Now, if you want a set of features to work together, maybe if you want to create a set of feature, which will be used in multiple projects, you can create a jar. Now, jar is basically a zip file for Java classes. Now, normally when you create files, you know, when you have lots of photos with you, uh, let's say if you have lots of files with you, what you do in normal life is we create zip file, Z-I-P. Uh, in the same way, we have a concept of JAR. So if you search for JAR file here, uh, you can see we have a JAR, which is Java Archive, which is actually a package file. So example, if you want to zip, so it is basically a zip file, but then if we call them JAR, JAR because it, it's a Java Archive, it has all Java files. It's not just you can have only Java files, you can put your normal files also, but technically uh, what makes sense, it, it should have all the Java files or Java files. Now, if, uh, how can we create a jar file in, in Eclipse? Now, typically when you want to create a jar file, you simply create a project. So you will say Java project and you will name this project as let's say my lib or maybe uh, Navin lib because this my, it will have my features which I want. Again, you can have any feature you want. Uh, example, uh, let's go with a very simple concept. Let's create a calculator service. So I will say next and I will say finish. Now if you remember, whenever you start with any, any language, maybe C, C++ or Java, the first thing you always learn is uh, how, I mean, the hello world and then we, we see how to add two numbers. Now what, what if you don't want to do, do that, do it by yourself. If you want to do it with the help of some libraries, let me, let me create that library for you. So in, in all your projects, you can use the same library. So what I will say, I will create a new class here and I will name this class as calculator, as simple as that. And you have to also make sure that you use a unique package name. Every jar file or every class should belong to a unique package. Okay, so this is very important. Again, you will, uh, I will make a video on this as well. What happens when you don't have a unique package name for your jar file? Okay, so time in, let's say we have com.telesco.util. So this is my package. So I'm creating some util classes. And I will click on finish. So that's my calculator. In this calculator, I want to provide one service. I know I'm going with a very basic example, the, the, but the coding is not important. The important is how can we create a jar file. So here I will say int uh, public int add, which will take two parameters int i and int j. And this one will return i plus j. So what we are simply doing is uh, we are creating a calculator class in which you have a method called as add, which will return i plus j. Now this folder which is Navin lib is actually a library for me. So example if, if I want to use this project in or this feature in any of my project I have to use this. But how can we use this? Example let me create an, another project. Uh, ignore all the extra project here. The main project here is Navin lib and let me create one more one more project here and I will say this project as uh, let's say Telesco project. So let's say I have my own website Telesco and I want to use or Telesco web I will say with Telesco web project in this web, I want to create, I want to use this calculator. So I, already, I have a main file here. So let me create a jar, uh, let me create a runner as my class files. I will say this is com dot uh, task. I love this word task. And I, will, I, I also need a main function. I will click on finish. Now we got a main. So what I want is I want to use that calculator here. So if I say calculator and if I say C equal to new calculator, you can see it is not, it's not there. This class is not available in my project. Of course, how it will be available? It's in some other project, right? How can we use that here? Now, whenever you want to use some other project feature, so what we can do is we can make this file a jar file and you can import the jar file in this project. 
So let's do that. So let's create a jar file of this Navin lib. So I will right click here and I will say export. So when you say export, there's an option of uh, Java. So when you say Java, you have a jar file. Otherwise, you can simply search for jar here. You will get it. Uh, you can see we got jar. Now we also have a term called as runnable jar file. Now this is something new. We have not talked about runnable jar file yet. Now imagine you want to create a standalone software. Normally what happens is in .NET technology, we create exe files. Now those exe files are runnable files. Uh, when we use shell scripting, we create .sh file which you can run. But in Java, if you want to create an executable file, what you will do, you, will, you have made a project and you want to make an exe file. We cannot do that in Java. I mean, we can do that with, with third-party third softwares, but technically we don't create exe files in Java, we create Java files. In fact, your exe files, your executable files will be Java files, and that is your runnable Java file. But we don't want to do that, we just want to create a library. So we, we can simply click on Java file here, and then which project you have to mention. So we are using this uh, Navin, uh, Navin lib. In this, you have to select this export Java sources, files, and resources. And then you have to mention the path where you want to create this project. So I will select desktop and I will name this, uh, I will name this file uh, uh, or the library as Navin lib itself. Again, you can have a different name, that's fine. But I will use as Navin lib, this is my library. I will click on save. And the moment I say next and finish, you can see we got our Java file. It is there on desktop. So if you can go to desktop, you will, feel, you will see a Java file there. How can we import that Java file here? So let's say uh, these two projects are working on some uh, other, maybe some remote location. So this is, so one of my friend is working on a telescope web and he's working somewhere else, not on, not on the same location, not on the same computer. Now in this case, you have to send the jar file to, to that person. Again, you can email it, uh, you can uh, share that with a pen drive, you can upload on that jar file on your website and you can share it. Or uh, you can also share your jar file using some remote repository. I don't know if you have heard about this concept of Maven. Uh, so you can you can upload your uh, Java file on Maven and you can give a Maven dependency tags and all those stuff. But then yes, we can use a central repository, something like Dropbox, where you can put your files on Dropbox and everyone can access it. Uh, you can share the link, same way. Uh, but then here we have on the same machine, so we don't have to worry about that much. We'll, we will simply right click on the project and I will say properties. Now in the properties, you can see we have a Java build path. Now in Java build path, we have, we have an option of libraries. Now it doesn't matter which library you want to work with. There are some internal libraries which you can use. Example, if I click on add library, there are some internal libraries. We have JUnit, we have servers. In, in case if you have some libraries in built in Eclipse or in Java. Otherwise, if you, if you have an external Java files, so you can simply click on add external jars. And here, I will go to my desktop and I will select Navin lib here and I will click on open. Now I got, I got my jar file there, you can see that, and I will click on OK. The moment you do that, in your reference libraries, you can see we got Navin, uh, Navin lib. But still it's not working, there's an error. Uh, now normally whenever you use a class, it's important to import the package as well, right? So when I say control space now, this time can you see that we got com.telisco.util.calculator. Now this is actually coming from this, uh, this library, which is com.telisco.util. So that's important, right? So that's how you, you export a library and that's how you can import it. So basically we share libraries with the help of jar files. So we can use jar files for creating a, a, a runnable, runnable file, executable file, or you can use it for libraries. Now let me just use this class and see if it is working or not. So I will say system.out.println. I will say c dot add two numbers. I will pass those two numbers as five and eight or four and eight. And if I run this code, and you can see we got 12 so this it is working so that's how you create a java file and that's how you export a java file and you can import it in some other project and you can use it so you can use it in any project now i have a question for everyone uh, what you can do is you can just pause this video and you can answer when then i ask the question uh, so what if i want to make some changes in the java file can i make the changes i mean uh, if i go to calculator if i want to add some new features Example, subtraction, division, multiplication. And if I make those changes, will that will those changes will be reflecting in my new project automatically or do we have to do something? So what you can do is you can just pause the video now and comment in the comment section your answer and then you can continue with the video. Okay, I hope you have answered in the comment section. Now let's try to understand. If you make any changes in the calculator, you can make the changes. There's no, uh, there's no rule that you cannot change the Java files. 
you can add your you can add your features here and after adding your features you have to make sure that you again export your project otherwise it will not work right because you are changing the source code so whenever you change the source code in your project it will not reflect in the jar file by default you have to make sure that you are making some changes or you have to you are exporting it so you have to export the jar, uh, export the project as a jar file now it will be a new jar file and then you just have to refresh this project provided it's on the same location if you are changing location then you have to again import it so yeah that's it that's how you get a jar file and that's how you uh, import in the other projects so i hope you enjoyed this video in the next video we'll talk about how can we create how, uh, what happens when you have multiple jar files and what happens when you have a same package name in two or different jar files so yeah that's it from this video uh, i hope you enjoyed just click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos